Today in crypto, Bitcoin price failed to stay above the $60,000 level against the US dollar. BTC is consolidating losses and it remains at a risk of more downsides below $58,000. Bitcoin price failed to stay above the key $62,000 and $60,000 support levels. As a result, there was a crucial downside break below $60,000. The price even settled below the $60,000 level in the 100 hourly simple moving average. A low is formed near $58,140 and the price is now consolidating losses. An immediate resistance on the upside is near the $59,500 level. It is near the 23. 6% Fib retracement level of the recent drop from the $63,700 swing high to $58,140 low. The first major resistance is near the $60,000 level. The main breakout zone is now forming near the $61,000 level in the 100 hourly SMA. The 50% Fib retracement level of the recent drop from the $63,700 swing high to $58,140 low is also near $60,900. Besides, there is a key bearish trend line forming with resistance near $60,900 on the hourly chart of the BTC slash USD. A clear break above the trend line resistance and then $61,000 may possibly call open the doors for a move towards the $62,000 level. The next major resistance sits near the $64,000 level. If Bitcoin fails to clear the $60,000 resistance zone, it could continue to move down. An immediate support on the downside is near the $58,200 level. The first major support is now forming near the $58,000 level. A break below the $58,000 support may possibly push the price towards the $57,200 support zone in the near term. The next key support is near the $56,500 level. Technical Indicators Hourly MACD dash the MACD is slowly losing pace in the bearish zone. Hourly RSI, Relative Strength Index, the RSI for BTC slash USD is now below the 50 level. Major support levels dash $58,200 followed by $58,000 major resistance levels dash $59,500, $60,000 and $60,900. After reaching new all-time highs it's customary for Bitcoin, BTC, price see a bit of cooling off in the form of profit taking, consolidation and uncertainty from traders who are cautious about opening new positions at record highs. This appears to be exactly what is occurring this week as Bitcoin price struggles to hold the $60,000 level as support. Generally, most analysts still retain a bullish macro view of Bitcoin's price trajectory, to the extent that plan B. Willy Wu and others claim that the second half of the bull market was certified by the price hitting $67,000 last week. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukle tweeted earlier today that his government has taken advantage of the recent Bitcoin price drop and added 420 additional BTC to the nation's stash. It was a long wait, but worth it, he tweeted. We just bought the dip. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The SEC does not appear to have the appetite for more exotic Bitcoin futures products. Reports are emerging that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has rejected one, or possibly two, recent Bitcoin exchange-traded fund applications signaling that the regulator is not quite ready for more exotic futures products just yet. Just a day or so after Valkyrie filed for a leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF and Direction applied for an inverse fund for bears. The SEC appears to have vetoed them both. On October 28, Bloomberg's senior ETF analyst Eric Balkunas referred to a Dow Jones alert indicating the Valkyrie leverage fund had been shelved by the SEC. He added that the move was likely also to apply to the inverse fund application. Looks like the SEC not having it W the levered, and likely inverse. Bitcoin futures ETFs can't hurt to try though. Had they gone through likely billion dollar trading vehicles in a few years via Dow Jones pick.twitter.com slash MSPMRF3HL9 on October 26, ETF issuer direction filed for a Bitcoin strategy bear ETF that would enable speculators to buy futures that short the price of BTC on the same day. 
Valkyrie filed for a leveraged BTC futures ETF that would have offered in one comma 25x exposure to the asset. The direction product invested purely in futures, however, the Valkyrie one would have held futures, swaps, options, and forwards. Another Dow Jones alert reported the SEC only seems interested in direct futures products at the moment. Funds that buy contracts from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, CME. The regulator does not seem keen to approve any products that invest in the asset itself or anything other than CME futures contracts at this stage. Balkun is confirmed, related, crypto breaks Wall Street CTF barrier, a watershed moment or SOP gap. ETF store president, Nate Jarachi, reported that two more ETFs had been applied for on October 27 from AXS Investments. The SEC filings are for a regular Bitcoin strategy ETF similar to the two already approved, and another shorting or inverse fund. Another Dow Jones report states that Grace Cable is confident that the SEC will be ready to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF by July 2022. On October 19, Grayscale filed an application with the SEC to convert its popular Bitcoin trust, GBTC, into a spot fund that is backed by the asset itself as opposed to futures contracts. Jarachi commented on the current lack of regulation over spot crypto markets, so crypto markets slash exchanges will be regulated by then. Seems ambitious. In related news, Vanek is making final preparations for the launch of its Bitcoin strategy ETF which will trade under the ticker XBTF. On Wednesday, Balkunas said there was a good chance it could start trading on Friday, October 29, but possibly Thursday. Singapore-based multinational banking giant DBS Bank has joined the Hedera Governing Council marking another major embrace of blockchain technology by a mainstream player in finance. As announced by the Hedera Protocol, DBS breaks the record for being the first and only bank in Southeast Asia to join the governing council and will help Hedera to focus on more innovative ways to revolutionize the world of banking. DBS is pleased to join some of the world's most established organizations on the Hedera Governing Council as we collectively seek to uncover the vast potential of blockchain and distributed ledger technologies, said Jimmy N.G. Group Chief Information Officer and Head of Technology and Operations at DBS. We have been leveraging emerging technologies to reshape the future of banking and have in recent months brought to market a number of innovative offerings powered by blockchain to help our clients seize opportunities in the new normal. DBS now joins 39 other major players across the tech, corporate, non-profit, and academia in the Hedera Governing Council. Amongst the prominent names include IBM, Google, LG Electronics, and the University of London. DBS's emergence will enable the bank to build on the capabilities of the Hedera Protocol to advance its cross-border initiatives, as well as its broad tokenization advances. As a formal member of the council, DBS will contribute to keeping the protocol decentralized, a development that brings stability and security to all network users. While the digital currency ecosystem has gained increased prominence all year long with the influx of institutional investors, there is still a focus on the utilities of blockchain protocols. Hedera Hashgraph is an enterprise-grade proof-of-stake public ledger for the decentralized economy. The protocol enables developers to build cheap, scalable, and fast applications that can provide power innovations in all aspects that technology can revamp. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.